Hello everybody, this is Juan from Sunjun OSL. Today we're going to explain to you guys how to separate one iPhone 6 Plus glass. This is very correct, uh, correct glass. We're going to teach you how to separate and also clean the glue. So after that I will laminate the glass with the, uh, the screen. Okay, so I'm going to show you the whole process. I know some of you guys think this is very old stuff, but for some of our new customers, they still struggling for this. So. We would like to take some time to explain to you guys our way. Probably you have a different way, but this is our way to do the, the whole process, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna explain to you guys what we have here. So this is the separator. Of course, you need a separator. So the temperature normally we set for 85 degrees. So we just set for 85 degrees. So press set, then just press 85 degrees, okay? Now it's done. I'm gonna have a mat. This is the mat for our uh, working area so the this is 40 by 40 and this is the one centimeter normally we're gonna have a mat uh, put it here so we're gonna put our separates on that okay and also you need another mat just like this so this is what we use we're using every day so you can see all the cuttings on it so so why we have to use this one with two holes on it because sometimes when we clean the glue or we just put the screen on this so we always put our this chip this chip inside of this hole so it won't break the LCD, okay? So this is the uh, sorting iron. So we can use this one to cut the frame. So later we're gonna show you guys cut the frame, these four corners, okay? And also we can use the, this one for the polarizer. I know some of you guys you have the, the machine for the polarizer, and also you can use this one, the sorting iron for, the, for just getting rid of the polarizer, okay? And also you need, uh, of course, the test, the testing boards, and also and this is the knife. One side, this is the blade. Okay, this is the blade. So I'm also gonna teach you guys because you see this sorting iron, how to prepare this one. Okay, so this is the normal uh, sorting iron we're gonna buy from the from the market. So just to use a screw, just unscrew it, unscrew it like this, unscrew it, and I put this one. You can buy this head. This is the copper head. Just put it put it inside. Okay. So later, just kind of one of these, this blade. So just use your pliers, just to get rid of it. Okay, it's very easy. And then just uh, there are two screws on it. Just unscrew it, put the blade inside, then screw it. And just like uh, what I did, just put it inside. Then this thing's okay. This the tour is okay, just like this. Okay, see. Okay, now the temperature is ready, 85, and also this screen is very cracked. So I suggest you guys have a. This is the auger. So everybody has this auger. This is cheap. So I normally put this auger on it because this is very sticky. So you put an auger on it. See? I know some of the some of you guys use tape, so that's cheaper. But this one, this is better because this is very sticky, so it can hold all the cracked, I mean, the, um, those tiny pieces together, okay? And also, this one you can keep it for the um, for later use. We test it to make sure this is okay before we just. Uh, To make sure it's okay. Sure, it's okay. Now we just to start. Let's get started, okay? This one here, so put it here. So 85 degrees. So first of all, sorry, just we forgot to cut this. So this is the uh, sodium iron. Just around the corner, check here. See? Here, this, so you have to make sure this is, uh, okay. This side. Also this side. Just be careful, don't don't break the LCD, okay? Just to make sure that it, it's, it's been well. 
Okay. Okay. So, just to put the um, this is eighty five degrees. So just put it. I just preheat it. You can do some of you guys do just put a whole screen on it. So. And also you can just put one side on it, another side, so I can do... Everybody has their own weight, okay? You just you just touch it back by your hand, okay? So if say it's, um, it's too hot, you cannot... Because sometimes you're gonna break the, uh, the back lights, you're gonna see some wrinkles on it, so you have to be careful with this. Now this is the uh, this is the uh, the cutting wire we're using. This is 0 0.08. Okay, this is 500 meters. Just be careful because this is very cracked. So just go from one side, just from one corner. Okay, just from one corner, and then another. Then from the other side, check. This is very cracked. So you have to be very careful with this. Normally, this kind of screen, just with a tiny piece, you're gonna you're gonna ruin the whole. You're gonna screw all the LCD, okay? So just to be very careful with this. See all those tiny pieces, just. To may break the LCD, okay? So now I'm gonna test this. Uh, I'm gonna test it to make sure it's okay. When it's very cracked, so you have to be very careful with the uh, those tiny pieces. So that's why I put all gaff film on it. So it's gonna be easier for... You see? So it's, everything's okay. So it's okay, right? Okay. Now let's clean the glue. Now just use this mat as I just uh, explained to you before. You have to clean this this mat, okay? Make sure there's no those tiny pieces of glass on that. Just to make break the uh, the LCD, okay? Okay. To make sure. Actually, because this is very cracked screen, so normally we get rid of the uh, the polarizer, not like this one. This is what I did before, because this one, the glass is almost uh, just have some some cracks on it. Not this one, so cracked. So you check the polarizer, just save the polarizer. I don't have to change the polarizer, but this one. You see, I may have to change it, okay? In this case, we just change it at one time. But I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use this uh, 
glue remover just to check if we have to remove it okay just this is just a test but normally we just get, get rid of it because this is you see some cracks on that i don't think we can save this polarizer okay but uh this time i'm gonna do a test because this test for you guys okay see this is the our uh new um this glue remover this one we call this 9555 okay in european market because we're gonna we we will produce this product the end of this this month in spain the code is 555 we call this nove cell 555 in europe in spain so this product is proved by european lab and also we can transport it in european countries european union okay so this one is not flammable so not like the other products flammable check okay i will put some little bit i will use a lighter you see it's not inflammable so it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be better for you guys uh because in european country you know united states or some countries so it's gonna be very strict with this product so if this is not flammable it's gonna be fantastic for you guys okay so first we're just gonna put the uh, use some use a brush put something in the middle you check just don't just be careful don't let this liquid get inside of the uh get inside of the backlight okay so just put the uh, on it this is the original this is the original glue as you can see okay you can use uh this is a plastic plastic knife so you're gonna use this you can use this one you see it's very easy right This is very easy. Just put some more on it. Some more liquids on this. Do this again. Just change your position, okay? See? gonna be very easy Just be careful, okay? Because this one you may break the LCD. Just don't push it too hard, just too soft. Okay. Now you can get some contact cleaner. This is the other uh, contact cleaner, so just put some contact clean. You see? Very easy, right? And I still have some thing here, so with a little bit of strength, you can get rid of it. Easy. Actually, this this polarizer is okay. I don't have to change it. I thought it's gonna be 
gonna be cracked with some scratch on it but uh, I think this scratch just a little bit it's acceptable so we don't have to change the polarizer this is good news so this is a little tiny pieces so I'm gonna use a little bit more on it check be careful because I don't want to get this liquid inside of the the backlight so I don't want to change the backlight okay see very easy be careful with this you see some scratches on it oh this scratch is kind of okay let's test it if I see if it works well okay It's working very well, right? Now, we just keep this one. Uh, so later, before we just uh, we do the lamination, laminating process, so we can clean the glue and make glue just tiny pieces on it. It's okay. So now uh, we have done the separation, also the glue cleaning. So. Um, we're gonna have a break so later we're gonna explain to you guys how to put the uh, the glass and uh, put a glass on it and how to laminate okay so just talk to you guys later